with neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Makes it out to about the 39. That'll make it second and inches. From their own 39-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he throws right away. He's tackled at the 47. He looked pretty confident that time on the throw. Yeah, good throw in the coverage it looked like, and you're right. He seems well composed, very sure of himself on that play. Jordan gets the call again. Nice run there as they work the outside. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. So they get it out there for about six yards, and that's a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 19. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From the 19-yard line, first down. Tackle made just outside the goal line. And this play is number eight on the drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And down he goes around the one yard line. From the one yard line, second down. Touchdown, Cardinals! And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 71-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 7-0. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. 
The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll bring him down at the 34. I think the defense jumped the gun a little bit on that play. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Wants to go long and does. It's picked off. he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw and that's the thing when you're under that kind of pressure it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw from the 46 yard line first down Louisville up seven points they keep it on the ground with a tailback he's at the 30 and he's tackled at the 17 From the 17 yard line, it's first down. He's into the open field. Runs it right, nice pickup. He decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. On the catch, and he steps out. Coleman picks up about five yards on that hookup. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Out of bounds at the three-yard line. From the three-yard line. Second down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. at the five-yard line. The way the safety was playing up towards the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Louisville is up seven. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down at the 27-yard line. He's 
to the 40. And they push him out around the 46-yard line. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. Pitches it. And he's taken down around the 34 yard line. That makes it third and three. And this is the eighth play of the drive. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. Hey, he's taken down at the 21. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 21-yard line, first down. Here comes the pressure, and he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Here's play number 10 on the drive. run to the left there. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He's tackled at the nine yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. Run play and he'll lose yards. It's second and goal, 10 yards to the end zone. Here's a running play. They'll knock him down for a loss. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. This is the 14th play of this drive. quickly and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Evans. 
has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Louisville's got a great offensive game plan in this one. Well, they are off to a great start. And sometimes you lose your focus when you start this fast. I think a challenge for them is just to maintain what they've done up to this point and keep their foot on the accelerator. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Louisville is up a field goal. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Ready. <laughs> Gains his way to the 39-yard line. it to the 47. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 34-yard line, first down. tackle around the 27 yard line looks like we're gonna have a good game on our hands after one 10-7 Louisville welcome back here we resume action now here in the second quarter Louisville holds a field goal lead they go with the run Gets to about the 24-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Kicks up, and he got it. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. So the score now, Louisville 13, Indiana 7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the 4. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at about the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line, second down. They make the stop at the 39. Rose had a man wide open and he missed him. Second and ten. Ball on their own 39. Yeah. 
He steps out around the 42 yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Coleman is back to receive. He's tackled at the 15. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Louisville with a six-point lead. They'll bring him down around the 24-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They come out in a five-wide set. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Throwing left. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Down he goes at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, first down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Hit on the throw. He caught it. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. From the 20-yard line, first down. Louisville up six. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. This is the ninth play of this drive. run there good run by the halfback that'll be good enough to move the chains well that's a strong run it makes a statement when you can run the ball like that it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here and he tackles him hard at the four this is the 11th play of this drive Touchdown, Cardinals! And that's his second touchdown of the day. 
I think today in college football, we're seeing more and more quarterbacks that have this kind of approach. You know, that's his second touchdown in the first half alone by running the football. And I think, again, this is what keeps defensive coordinators up till midnight during the week, is trying to figure out not just how to stop the running game, passing game, but how to account for a running quarterback. Right now, this defense does not have the answer to slow him down. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Hands it off. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. First and goal, down by a couple of possessions. And he is drilled at the one. Touchdown, Hoosiers. And he tacks on the extra point. Evans is lined up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. The defense provided good pressure on the play, but they just weren't able to get to the quarterback that time. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. They're about four yards away here on second down. Louisville is up by six. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Great instinctive timing by the corner to deflect the pass. That's just really solid coverage skills. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. 
nice run, and he's brought down. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. And he stays in bounds, and he hauls in a big one. Slings it left. He's taken down around the 10-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 10. Give to the tailback. And they push him out at the 9. That's a deal. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Third down again. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. Fantastic individual effort right there. It looked like there was some space for the pass, but the defender got enough of a hand on it to prevent the touchdown. Louisville with a six-point lead. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle at the 30. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Going to go across the middle. Caught. He's tackled at the 37. Good possession there for the defense. You always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that drive. Booming kick. Tackle made at the 26. Not a bad return. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. They come out on an empty backfield. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. From their own 24-yard line, second down. And he's taken down at the 32. And a quick throw, and he's tackled at about the 41. So we've played two quarters. Louisville leads it 23-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. According to the scoreboard, the first half went pretty much as scripted. We expected this team to be on top, and they are. They're up by two scores, 
that's not surprising. But I'm not so sure that, that there are really different feelings in the locker room right now. You might have a couple of confident teams taking a break. Yeah, you might be you might be up by a couple of scores, but you probably feel like you could add more to it. You feel like everything's gone as scripted, as planned. You feel like you're doing what you want to do. You're limiting them from doing what they want to do. At the same time, if I'm on the other side, I'm going, hey, guys, it's not a blowout yet. You know, this is still close. If we make a few plays, get a few turnovers, next thing you know, we can look up and this game might be tied. So both sides might be happy, but this still is a game very much in striking distance, even though one side is heavily favored. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Lucas fields it at the two. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought down around the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Got the corner. Gets out to around the 45. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. He has some room. Tackle made at about the 33-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. And they make the stop at the 13. It's first and 10. Ball on the 13. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. <laughs> Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. We've got third and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up and they tack on three points. Evans has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. 
He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Louisville, up six. Throws out and through his hands. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Hodges to punt. Lucas fields at the 29. He showed a good burst there. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's scrambling. They'll make the sack. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. He throws. And he can't hang on to it. And that will make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Coleman, back to return it. And this one is a beauty. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Indiana is not going to back down from anybody, Herbie. I guess at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Louisville is up by six. The quarterback draw goes nowhere. Second and 10, ball on the 27-yard line. Quick pass, knocked out of bounds around the 44-yard line. from their own 44-yard line. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Nice game. Quarterback goes for about seven on the draw. That makes it second and two. Let's it fly. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. First down. Second and 
So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbound when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Louisville with a six-point lead. Let's go! Feeds it to the back. Tackled after a decent pickup. That brings him second and five. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Nice run there. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Here's the halfback. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. There's a strike complete. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. Results in a first down. And I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. First and ten. Ball on the 30. He fights forward to about the 29. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. From the 19-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 11. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. They 
trying to get a head start there. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. It's second and eight. Ball on the 16-yard line. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Scrambling around. And he is drilled at the one-yard line. He got three yards there on the scramble. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. That brings up a second and goal. About a yard to Pater. Touchdown, Hoosiers. Took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he adds the extra point. Indiana lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Throws it out there, and that one's fallen incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Louisville up six. Let's it fly. That close to being intercepted. He stopped immediately. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Booming kick. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. And, folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. 30-24, Louisville. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And he's taken down at the 47. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in their own 47. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. That makes it second and ten. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds.
We've got him first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. and he's right there to knock it away. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. He's tackled at the 23. And this play is number eight on the drive. Makes his way out to about the 15. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Anderson will run it again up the middle for a nice game. Tenth play of the drive. It's caught, and we are all tied up, folks. Nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. He makes the PAT. So a 10 play, 67-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Evans has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now, remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 31. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Jordan gets a handoff to the right. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. Let's go! 
They give to the tailback. Brought down right around the 18-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. The 10. They'll bring him down at the 6. Here's the 8th play of the series. Caught with room to work. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. So they hit the halfback on the short pass for the touchdown. Boy, what a great story. They've talked about the commitment that this guy has made in practice to make himself a more complete player. He has spent many extra hours catching ball after ball. And right there, it paid off. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds as a receiver. And it's caught for two. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Hand off inside, and he's quickly brought down. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Runs outside for a nice game. That makes it 33. Make the stop around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made at the 42. and 10, ball on the 42. And he's tackled at the 33. scrambling and they'll look to convert here on another third down he heaves it to the end zone the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Quick toss. 
Inside the 10. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And down he goes at the one. The back gets three on the carry. From the one yard line, second down. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Touchdown, Indy. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. Indiana kicked this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Tackle at the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Has some daylight. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. There's a very impressive open field tackle. First and 10, ball on the 48-yard line. Over the middle, got his tight end, and he's taken down at the 41. He's going right. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They come out on an empty backfield. He's under pressure. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. If you don't rush things and avoid mistakes on offense, the worst thing that happens in this game is that you go into overtime. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. After the big pass play, we've got a first down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Just over a minute left.
Throwing right. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. There's a missed tackle. He gets to about the 27-yard line. Five wide. Scrambling around. Decides to slide. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. to pick up the first down. He launches one for the end zone. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Indiana is up by six. And he adds the extra point. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Not much time to be creative here. They've got to get the ball into the end zone. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He steps out around the 32-yard line. It's second and three. Ball on the 32. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Louisville is going to use their first time out of the half here. He sails it long. That tackle just sealed the deal. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Indiana 45, Louisville 38. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.